It's the hit new game, Scars Above. Why am I playing this game? Because it was published by Cock Media, who calls themselves Play On now, which is stupid. I'm gonna keep calling them Cock. And Cock Media, of course, are the people who brought us the game Dolman, so anything they publish has gotta be good. In this game, you play as Kate, who, as you can tell, is a character from Mass Effect Andromeda. The SLD-26 Welder. That's definitely a gun. Is this like Dead Space, where your tools are guns? Alright, I gotta fight some Necromorphs, or more, more likely the Necromorphs is like a giant alien spider-type creature that spits ass. I said, I gotta fight one of those for sure. Calibrate the output voltage. Oh, come on. Dude. There we go. <laughs> come on. Get it. <laughs> Get it in the back. I'm... There we go. I swear there's lag. I swear there was lag on that. Stranded alone on an alien world. Dr. Kate has to determine if you can go into the water. You can. Okay. All right, bring it on, alien dog, spider creature. Yeah, hello. I have a Dark Souls roll, and then I can <laughs> hit you with my laser knife. Game of the year contender right here. This plant doesn't have any chloroplasts. I'm going to get you, scars above. Here I come. Big slam. Big slam. Big slam. I want to see an enemy in a game that's 99% giant glowing orbs and 1% like armor, and the armor is the weak spot. You have to not shoot the giant red flashing eyeball. That doesn't count. Just want to point out that the music in this part sounds almost identical to the Mass Effect song. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the best ever button prompt in a video game. Hold A to extrapolate the conclusion. When's the last time you extrapolated a conclusion in a video game, huh? You can't just hit A to extrapolate to the conclusion immediately. You gotta write a topic sentence and at least three to four supporting paragraphs first. Scars Above is the first ever video game programmed entirely in MLA format. The alpha, oh my god. He killed me in one punch. Guess that's why they call him the Alpha. One mechanic you should be sure to steal from Dark Souls is boss runs. They are well beloved by all. No one doesn't like them. And I got hit and I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. And we died during the boss run. Don't have boss runs. Get them out of your games. Especially if they're gonna glitch out and kill me with a little spider guy. Okay, so it turns out this guy does have a million health, but what you're supposed to do is hit him with the cryo and not get hit by his swipe and then hit him with the cryo then keep hitting with the cryo and he runs away like a little baby. Then you hit him with the cryo and he comes back over. Then you get hit by that move even though you rolled. And then you hit him with the cryo. Then you dodge that move again and then you hit him with the cryo. I'm trying to demonstrate how to kill you. Stop. Oh my god, monster. Okay, he's cryoed. Once he's cryoed, you hit him with lightning and for some reason that does more damage. Why does having ice on him make lightning hurt him more? I don't know. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare, the alpha. Piece of crap. Die. No. <laughs> I'm putting it on easy. Sorry, the alpha. I have baby mode online. Prepare to fall. Wow, easy mode really does make it a lot easier. <laughs> it went from being a real pain to literally no challenge at all. Just the way I like it. Monsters. The dot 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 monsters. Okay, not those things. They're monsters. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Did those dot 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 monsters turn you evil? Because you seem to be standing there pretty ominously. Oh, yeah, he's a bad guy. Oh, we turned into the alluvial king. Nice try, alluvian king. I fought you in Bloodborne already. Be an original boss fight next time. Man, I really could use a weapon upgrade or some more XP or Estus flask. Uh, what's that over there? Oh, my Funko Pop. My kitty cat hoodie Funko Pop. Thank God I found this. Mr. Jefferson Mike's doll. Nice. That's the best loot in the game. Maybe this game is as good is Dolman. Dolman did not have Mr. Jefferson in it, which was a big missed opportunity by Dolman. Dead alien, are you okay? Oh, he's not okay. He has a cutscene. This was a massacre. Eh, it's like five people. I don't know, guys. These aliens seem pretty human. All oh, purple blood. Yeah, they're aliens for sure. Stop. The custodian. The custodian. Okay, the bad guy is the custodian. I never did trust that guy. Always mopping the hallways of my school. Little did I know he was planning nefarious schemes the whole time. What a great stock photo of real people that they poorly photoshopped the scars above characters onto. This is worse than that time I found a picture of Tali Zoravas Normandy. And here's the Mass Effect 1 ring hacking minigame, as if there wasn't enough Mass Effect 1 already. What if the scarab from Halo looked like an enemy from Crisis 1? In that situation, you would get... The Construct, the ultimate boss battle. He can jump, he can stand there, he can come towards you menacingly. Oh my god. For someone named the Construct, he sure is pretty destructive, unless he misses every missile shot. Turns out his weakness is standing still. Oh, great, he has phase two. Or he'll leave. Oh, thank god he left. Can't wait to kill him for real. All right, I can do this. All right. <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> Either use one bullet to drop the icicle and probably miss, or just use that same bullet to kill the spider in one hit. What will you choose in the game Returnal? The XP is based on exploration, not combat. So you may ask yourself, what's the purpose of combat? And the answer is there isn't one really. You don't get anything for doing it. You just do it because it's fun because it's fun to fight the same guy 10 times. But it's not actually that fun, believe it or not. He got his armor back, oh, come on. Dolmen was a cowardly game. Dolmen actually had the Dark Souls bonfire XP system. Scars Above is a game that is brave enough to throw off the constraining shackles of the Dark Souls level up system and create a new experience where after like one hour of playing it, you just run past every single enemy because they're all the same guy for the whole game. The cool thing about the construct boss in Scars Above is that you can't hurt him unless he stands on the ice and he can just choose to not stand on the ice. and you literally have no counter. It's very good, flawless design. Miyazaki would be proud. Do not, don't even think about it. Don't run away. Do not run away and still be alive. Okay, good. At least he gave me the chemical atomizer, aka the corrosion gun. Oh, it's a shotgun. He gave me a shotgun. Okay, he's not all bad. Oh God, look at that guy. Even when he's standing still inside the back to tank, he's still clipping into the pipes. Extrapolating, extrapolating. It looks like the aliens use wingdings. It must be the control center for those things. Yes, there it is. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me as I play through Scars Above. The journey was long, but the reward was worth it. We got a those dot, dot, dot things. I need to find Tamara. Well, Tamara is Thursday as of recording this video. Not sure what it's gonna be by the time it goes on YouTube though. Welcome to the ultimate battle, Andromeda versus Scars Above. Who has the better facial animations? Vote now in the comments. I thought you were gone. My face is tired. If you have $40 or however much Scars Above costs by the time this video comes out, it might get the price slashed pretty heavily like a week after release because I don't think it's doing too well. Uh, you probably have enough to buy the game Prey instead, so just do that. Uh, don't spend your money on Callisto's Protocol. That one's no good. Maybe save your money for Redfall, though. It rhymes with Protocol and it's from Arcane Studios. I'm a pretty big fan of Arcane Studios games, but what they really have needed this whole time but they never quite nailed down is an open world with tiered loot you can collect and craft. Choose your hero, each with their own unique abilities. Chapter 6 per Aspera. Hey, they didn't call it Scars Above. Good job, guys. I could have sworn they would call the last chapter of their game Scars Above above because they would totally do that, but they didn't do it. Giving your final chapter a Latin phrase is, it's kind of almost as bad as calling it the name of the game, but it's not quite as bad. Good job, Scars Above developers, for resisting the temptation. Later that evening, Oh no. Place your bets on what the final boss will be. Is that Oblivion Portal gonna get up and walk around and like shoot fire at me? Cause that would be hilarious. That would be good. That would make up for the whole game. It is pretty red in here. It could be the Oblivion guy. Oh yes, there he is, dude. Come on, walk around like a giant monster. All right, what we got? What's it gonna be? Come on, Oblivion Gate. No. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's the <laughs> It's just him again. It's just the big one of him. I already fought this guy like 25 times. This is like a normal guy you fight, but he has green armor on now. Well, I have a lot of practice at least, so it shouldn't be that difficult to beat him. Is that it? No phase two, no boss gauntlet. Just the upscaled enemy from the first 20 minutes of the game. Okay. Well, don't know what I expected. Actually, I do. What I expected was for that oblivion portal guy to start walking around and fight me. No, I can't believe you didn't get to fight me. That would have been hilarious. Imagine how goofy I would have looked doing like a slash attack. Ah. Scars above my extrapolated conclusion is that this game is not as good as Dolmen. I'll give it like a C plus. They made a Souls-like, but then they only made like four enemies for the whole game, including the final boss. You, you need a few more than that. Wait, what the heck? Hang on. Casting and directing consultant D.B. Cooper? What? What?